And with that, let me actually real quick calculate. Uh, so while that is only nine damage, bro only had one HP left. So that, and that's def in. And with that, Damien has been defeated. And uh, Silver immediately rushes over to Misha's like, Misha, are you okay? Uh, do, does Misha have any Reviver Seeds on her, by the way? I use the only one to revive Silver. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, in that case, one sec. Um, I use my only one to revive Silver, that's why. Tragic. Uh, and so Silver's like, come on, come on. Uh, um, uh, 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 okay. Hold on. Um, this is something I saw. Oh, do come on, come on, please work, please work. Uh, wait, maybe there's something I can use. Uh, and in fact, Misha, do you still have the rainbow feather? Uh, I think. Well, uh, did I have to use it? You used it, but that doesn't mean that it disappeared. Oh, well, in that case, I do still have. All right, so uh, Silver's like, wait, I feel something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And with that, Silver pulls out the rainbow feather. However, the rainbow feather, I mean, contrary to its name, it's only three colors, or normally three colors. Red, white, and green. However, the red coloring is not there. It's just white and green. And so Silver's like, okay, um, here it goes. <sighs> By the power of the skies. Help my friend, please. And Silver's eyes glow. And Misha, you are brought up to half health. However, your all your injuries are still there. Oh. So, like half of your current health. Uh, let's see. You are currently at thirty-three hit points, basically. Um. Huh. It works. Huh. Okay. Okay. We're fine. Whew. And then Silver looks down to see that now the the uh, rainbow feather is now only white. Oh, that's concerning. Uh, Misha, are you okay? Wait, what about my brother? What about Damien? Uh, and like you look over to see him just like complete, like just out. Uh, I, I mean, I, I was able to beat him. Um, I don't, I am, uh, and then on the intercom you hear, well, that was unfortunate. And we had such high hopes for him. Well, then again, and, uh, and then Eclipse speaks. Well, then again, there already was going to be that other uh that other liability oh yes that's right the fact that he, we're on a time he's a time bomb essentially and then damien he's like what what are you talking about oh poor oh the poor child well might as might as well break it to you now that little mega stone in there in your chest it's not Perfect. Unfortunately, it's a liability. One that's killing you little by little. What? What do you mean? I'm saying that your days are numbered, boy. And this was your final chance to prove yourself, but... How unfortunate. No, this can't be true. <laughs> <coughs> and Damon tries to stand up, but then immediately falls up, and he starts coughing out blood. <coughs> no. Damien. Better not move Better. now, there. Otherwise, you might just uh, might just speed things up. Also, really, Jack? Come on. <laughs> oh, this is so Didn't easy. respond out loud to it. Uh, whatever. Anyways. Silver's like... Come on, I, I got you. 
and Silver just like sort of scoops Damien up and just like places him on his head, on 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 his back. Let's 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 keep going. We got we still have to find your other friends. Oh yes, please. Your friends are waiting for you. Before the inter uh, intercom cuts out. Where the are you? When I find them. Come on. Like, Misha's calming down now because she doesn't want us to be. She doesn't want Silver to see her like that. Come on. Let's keep going. Yeah. All right, and so, uh, so everyone starts making their way off, continuing further through the area, and then eventually you encounter the next room and see locked up in containers Calamity and Gemma, fully unconscious, in stasis. Calamity. Gemma. And like Misa tries to like knock on the glasses or like knock on a, like knock on them to see if like she can try to wake them up one by one. Come on guys, please. Wake up. We're we're gonna get we're trying to get out of here. Silver slow the silver like carefully examines them. Uh the, the containers is like And they uh, they gently set down Damien, and then they fly back. And it's like, Misha, stand back. I have an idea. Okay. <sighs> Sorry if this hits you guys. And then Silver uses another ancient power to uh, attack both containers. And uh, these uh, floating stones collide with the glass. And just immediately shatter them, causing uh, Calamity and Gemma to just collapse. Uh, uh, collapse. Gemma? Calamity, are, are you guys okay? Come on, please, speak up. <coughs> and, like, just, like, like, <coughs> I'm away. I'm away. <sighs> what? <coughs> what? 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 Where? Where am I? What's going on? Misha! Hey, huh? Whoa, uh, where are we? Oh ah, Silver, huh? What? What are you doing here? Hi, huh? I'm so confused. Uh, <laughs> it's a long story, Gemma, but apparently we're on my parents' ship. Oh. Ew. Ah, uh, those are the same guys that knocked us out, right? Yeah. Yeah, that awful gas. Ugh. Listen, I've I've come across my uh off awful, awful uh gases living in the slums, but that was oh god. Okay. Um okay. Uh and then uh slowly calamity stands up. <clears throat> Misha, are you all right? And like Misha like sprints over to him and like trying not to hurt him, like she gives him like the biggest hug she ever had in, <laughs> in his life. Like, I'm so glad you. I'm so glad you're okay. Hold on, I'm let so me sorry. let me just. There we go. I'm so sorry. He didn't mean to attack you. It's okay. It's okay. You didn't know, and. I, I'm sorry. It it was my fault. I I wasn't strong enough. I I couldn't I couldn't stay in control and I hurt you. And actually, actually, Misha, since you are literally just, like, holding Calamity, you look up and see that the collar, the, like, shot collar that is also housing his Megstone, is actually, like, damaged. Uh, and shows signs of wear and tear. And your guess is that your battle actually damaged the collar. Yes, uh, 
at least one positive uh, thing out of that is that they're not going to be they're going to have to fix this collar before they can make me hurt you anymore but we're not going to let that happen yeah actually the car is still around his neck is there and like if it's like worn out of it is there a way i can turn into a sylveon to just see if i could just snap that right off of him so they so that actually never happens um yes you can let me see what skill would be the best also i just work it uh-huh I uh-huh. Mm. Give me a... Uh, we'll say combat check. Alright. Actually, uh, you, uh, if it's a combat check, you might uh, check your other evolutions, because you might get a uh, bonus from that. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Wait. Hmm. I'll just go for, like, Sylveon for the moment, because I don't want to use... Because Sylveon's ribbons are, like, the only part of its body that can really grab onto something and just rip it up. Okay, yeah, that, that's fine. Then make a combat check. Alright, so you... You, uh, turn into a Sylveon, and you, like, wrap around them, and you're... You... Try as you might, this is still a very sturdy collar, so you're able to, like, crack it slightly, but Calamity's like, it's fine, it's fine. This thing is a lot more durable than it seems. I'll, I'll get it off later. For now, we have more pressing things to do. We need to get out of here. And Gemma's like, yeah, I want to actually get to meet the jerks who put us here in the first place. Yeah, they... They won't get away with hurting my mother. They won't. They won't get away with hurting my family. They won't get away with that. Of course. And not. not and uh, um, calamity turns to Silver's like. Oh well, I assume that you're a friend of Misha's. Hi. Yeah. Uh, my name's Silver. Silver. I've heard of your. Uh, I've heard of you. You're Lugia, yes? Yeah. Well, long story, but, um, my, uh, well, M Misha helped my mom. Uh, they were very sick, and while we weren't able to free them, make them get better, we were at least able to, well, we were, we were able to free them, and... Now, my mother's no longer in pain. So, yeah. And, uh, well, I, and, like, Silver kind of, like, looks away. I, I never thought I'd ever hear of a parent being so mean to their kid. And Gemma, Gemma, Gemma's like, I, yeah, when... Misha told me her story. I was speechless. I, I lost my parents when I was a kid, but they... All the memories I have with them are happy. I, I, there, we can reminisce later. Right now, we need to put an end to this once and for all. Right. Well, I can I can sense several Pokemon coming fr uh, from uh, several life signs from several Pokemon from there. I can tell that one of them is a psychic type. That might be my mother. Wait, I sense two psychic types there. Hmm. If I recall, Misha, your parents were an Espeon and an Umbreon. And it's like they, they're not alone. And like, Misha can probably guess. Oh, who else might be there? She's going to like, put that to the side right now and say, first, let me kick my mother's butt. And then I can worry about the other psychic type. 
that might be there. Mm -hmm. All right. And so you all get ready to, uh, you all get ready to rush in. And so you do. And you all take charge. And when you arrive into the control room, you are confronted with several Pokemon. Staring right in front of you is a magnetic golem. And behind them are your parents, Amity and Eclipse, along with a Gothitelle. Wait. And this is like... This is me and Misha's thinking like... Aren't you the goddess help from the capital? The Gothitelle doesn't respond. They just... Uh, she just looks at you. And, and uh... Meanwhile, Amity and Eclipse... Uh, step forward. Well done, daughter. Well done. I must say... I was quite impressed by your display, although, uh, on a one-on-one, -on -one, I guess, uh, Damien did have the advantage there, but I guess there is a bit of, rec there, some recognition goes to, uh, you for befriending the spawn of a legendary Pokemon. Anyways, it's time that, uh, we'll, unfortunately, our reunion must be cut short. Unfortunately, since you couldn't st couldn't go in your room, you've made quite a mess of things. But not to worry, we have our own failsafe. Anyways, Stella, let's go. They're waiting for us. Yes. And uh, with that, uh, the Gothitelle ra raises her hands, and uh, Amity's eyes and gem glow as. All three of them proceed to teleport, leaving you alone with this golem. So, uh, are you our tour guide of the ship? Gemma asks. <laughs> no, that was my old job. Instead, I'm going to make sure that you guys stay put. And if you try anything funny, then I'm going to make sure that you go out with a bang. Misha, what's he talking about? Silver like whispers over to you. Meaning if we don't comply, we have to fight again. <sighs> they, my parents should know me by now. I was always a fighter. All right, I'll let you go. I'll, uh, Misha, I'll, I'll let you take the first straight. The first strike. Right. Ah, sorry, my words. No, I got you. I got you. Ooh, just enough. So I'm gonna go for this silly move. All right. So you proceed to uh, transform into a Vaporeon uh, and a to attack with Bouncy Bubble. And as you are as you are charging it up, and right as you're about to uh, uh, set it off, the golem's like, "Oh no 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 no! I'm not here to fight. I'm here to make sure you all die." As he starts to glow and gen and like the magnet uh, jutting out from his uh, back starts to uh, uh, generate electricity, and then it starts to uh, it starts uh, goes from a ball of electricity and then just starts. Uh, uh, goes down into the rest of his body and starts to cause it to glow. I said you're going down with a bang, and I mean it. And Calamity's like, Misha, get down! And then just jumps in front of you right as... and right as the, uh, the bouncy bubble hits the golem, it uses Galvanize Explosion. And Calamity uses Detect, blocking you back. However, since it's point blank, this, uh, the sudden shock just pushes, sends you all flying back as a large electric explosion just shakes the entire, uh, 
shakes the entire control room, and then uh, you are all just collapsed down. Uh, you're all down on your feet, uh, or, or off your feet, um, just sprawled all over, and every every everyone's just uh, in a daze. And um, all of a sudden, Misha, as your your ears are ringing, you're completely disoriented. But all your your vision is very blurry. But you hear faint um, uh, faint emergency sirens blaring as the ship starts to shake violently, and from the um, like the faint, um, like very faintly, you can hear in the background, um, ship integrity failing, uh, sinking imminent, evacuate all personnel immediately. Do you try to stand up? Yeah. Give me a focus check. All right. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, that's not. So you you stand. You try to stand up, only to just uh, uh, lose balance and just fall down, and then all of a sudden, you start sliding one direction on the ground as you can tell that the ship is sinking and going down, and before you really have time to react. You hear the crashing of waves, and water slowly starts to fill up the inside. Currently, you're in your Vaporeon form, so you might be okay, but some of some of your other friends might not be so lucky. However, you are completely out of it. After the battle with Damien and being uh, hit with a point-blank explosion that Calamity was able to block for the most part, but... Just the intense uh, shock wave of it is too much for your uh, for your um, head to handle, and as you feel the water start to uh, start to engulf you, you lose consciousness. All right. So. We still got another uh, hour and a half left of this um, session, so let's go and see how uh, our good old buddy Asunato is doing. As uh, you uh, once again, uh, you and Kara go into this underwater uh, camerupt submarine and are making your way to Ivory Island and. Kara is keeping to herself for the most part, just kind of thinking of everything that's going on, try to s come up with some sort of plan to try to get out of trouble. <laughs> um, but you can't think of anything at the moment. Um, however, uh, she can't think of anything at the moment. Do you, like, say anything to her? Or do you, like, converse with anyone? You are currently accompanied by Mela, the uh, Rev of Room. Uh, Jasper, the shiny Heatran, who is in possession of the, um, Red Orb, along with Zenith and Courtney, the Delphox. Jack, mm -hmm. you good? Oh, me when I had my, I had myself muted, actually. Um... Bruh. <laughs> Uh, so if it were just me and the Houndoom, um, I might, but the Heatran's kind of, like, intimidating me, so I'm just kind of... Well, uh, Jasper is... The yeah. view screen thing. What's up? I'm just looking at, like, the view screen thing right now, I think. Mm. At the top of the sub. Yeah. Alright, yeah, you're looking, and you just see the the different uh parts of the ocean as you guys are just um, uh making your way through um uh sec obviously since this is a sort of incognito mission 
uh, since you guys are going into a different city uh, or different island. You aren't carrying your your full garb, your full uniform at the time, um, mm -hmm. for the time being at least. Yeah. And um, actually, uh, do you like look around at all, or you just keep watching the outside? Um, like look around like within the sub or yes, outside the sub? yeah, within the sub. Um, I mean, I guess I've just been kind of like through like. It's, I've been seeing because it's not that big, so unless mm. there's, I guess there hasn't been anything that's caught my eye per se, but I'm not like not paying attention either. All right, so we'll just say that you just happen to take notice that um, um, that Jasper that he trend seems to be like a little like, not on edge, just like, is like, a little fidgety. Um, just constantly, like, looking around, trying to find different things to, uh, keep themselves occupied, keep himself occupied, and it's, it, it, it's starting to, like, you're starting to get the vibe that something might be on his mind. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's Jasper is, okay. Is the, is the I mean, I figure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking, I mean, for one, I think everyone might be a little bit nervous being just underwater considering all the fire types, but I don't think that's it because this is, that would be everyone other than me. Mm. Uh, this seems to be just Jasper. Yeah, it's just Jasper. Um, now, Jasper's the child, he Chen, right? Yes. And the okay, one cool. So I feel that's, with... This one's much more approachable, I think, for, you know, like, as far uh -huh. as I would view it. So I would just kind of, like, um, um, how close am I standing? Or floating, I guess. Uh, Jasper. Yeah, no, it's not super... Could I reach out with my arm and, like, tap them on the heat trend shoulder or should i just like speak up like i uh, you know i mean like, actually like, if, if if you get uh, as you get like very close you notice that like he's giving off very like very intense like heat signatures uh, uh yeah uh, flame body moment uh yeah so maybe maybe direct contact isn't the best idea yeah, yeah, yeah. so um i just kind of like i guess clear my throat in like uh i guess i'm gonna ask is everyone um how's everyone feeling right now because i want to single jasper out because, I don't know, if he's nervous, that might not be the best tactic, hmm. but I do want to see if I can get him to talk a little bit. Alright, so, you say that, like, you say that kind of awkward, it's like, so, uh, how's everyone yes, doing? Yes, exactly, that's the exact vibe <laughs> I have. That's the exact vibe. And, like, everyone kind of, like, looks at you, like, is like, what is, what is really yapping about? Um, but that does kind of get that's the... Like everyone around yeah, me questions yeah. all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um... But, like, that does kind of get Jasper's attention. He just, like, sort of like, looks at you. And, like, mm -hmm. Mel is like, uh, I mean, it's a little cramped in here. Uh, uh. I don't know mm -hmm. what to tell you. Is it, uh, just being under the ocean? Or, I don't know. <sighs> I mean, yeah, I mean. I mean, for me, it doesn't bother me. I can breathe underwater. But, uh. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. There's anything else either. I figured you've been in the sub plenty of times, so. Yeah, yeah, kinda. Especially what I mean. We we funny enough. We for didn't didn't weren't you the guy with the others on that one bar iron barge a while back? Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot the Appleton kind of almost sunk y'all. Um, yeah, yeah. Our, I was there. Our leading Charizard got obliterated. <laughs> what yeah. is that guy on? And like all of a sudden she's like, oh, the screams, the screams. Um, I mean, I will <laughs> say, I. After you guys trounced me, um, I, you know, it was kind of hard to, uh, stay awake, but I noticed that your buddy, the Toxapex, was it, kind of saved my life? <laughs> uh, yeah, Chef's a solid, solid dude, uh, like that, so, um. Yeah, kind of prevented, fella. yeah, kind of prevented me from, you know, getting ki killed. Yeah. Which, I appreciate it. You know? Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't really... I guess I can't really, uh... Tell him, I... I guess give him the message, uh... Because, uh, he doesn't know what's going on. Also, I don't know where he is. But, huh. uh... I don't know. I think, um... Maybe we'll get to return the chance. Return the favor at some point. You know, fate's kind of like that sometimes. Uh, yeah. It's... What else? Yeah. Well, I mean... It's nice having friends and all I have. I had some a while back, but we don't really, we're not really close anymore. It's really just mm. the 
really just mean the Infernal Cult nowadays. Mm. Whatever. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't bother me. It bothers her. <laughs> I'm like, this is, this is one of the cults isolating you from the rest of the world moments of all time. So true, bestie. Uh, anyways, uh, then after that, uh, Courtney's like, all right, quit your yapping. We're there. And uh, so you guys start to surface and you are uh, you like, uh, you notice as you start to like look around, you're on like a somewhat uh, small beach. Uh, you hear v what seems like idle voices and movement in the background, but at least in this area, it's very empty. So it's perfect for a random sub to just show up and uh, not get any uh, prying eyes. And so uh, Courtney and Zenith are like, all right, you guys know what, what to do. Um, do I know what to do? Well, I mean, uh, other than just doing... Let's see. Uh, I will just say that Zenith gives a quick recap. Just investigate the locals, see what they know about this, these forces of nature, and see if you can gain, get an audience with them. We've detected that there are some funky storms going off at the peak, so it could be them. All right. Okay. All right. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Just be approachable and friendly, y'all. And I just kind of... <laughs> laugh to myself like very quietly but uh uh-huh they're not the most approachable bunch to be honest yeah yeah no <laughs> all right so you eventually step out uh all four of you uh mela jasper you and kara and eventually the 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 um courtney and zenith return to the sub and then it uh uh resubmerges and you go back and eventually reach the ivory shoreline and to see it's like quite packed actually a lot of a lot of aquatic and semi-aquatic pokemon are just vibing around here and uh you come to realize that you are surrounded by uh slow pokes slow bros and slow kings oh my gosh it's ryan in in in, in the golden sea oh my god <laughs> you know yeah yeah, yeah. Ryan that's Ferreira. canon ryan that's... ferrera reference can we name one of them yeah yeah uh, it's canon it's canon this guy's ryan uh yeah which one are they all right? The, the 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 one slow king here? <laughs> or yeah, I figured the slow king would. Yeah, yeah. Ryan Pookie. <laughs> <laughs> so real. Oh man, Ryan is canon. All right, so wait, yeah. How easy is it to edit the name? I'm kind of... Uh oh wait 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 I I I mean go in settings and I can just give them a a name tag, but I need it's to make Ryan it so that Ryan. you guys can see it. Now it's Ryan time. <laughs> so real. All right, so you guys oh, walk you around. Can see what I sent in the Twitch chat. Room. Oh my God. I decided not to send it in the Roll20 chat. Because uh, it was even more of an emotional moment that I decided not to interrupt. Bruh. Anyways. Um, so, you, like, look around no, and, I like... I knew some slow bro, like, slow pokins looking on, uh, um, Cobalt Isle. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you've, like, uh, met a few, so you know that they're, they're very chill. And, like, yeah. you could walk up to them. They will, n like, they, they don't have any sort of, like, social, like um like expectations they just vibing they're just vibing yeah Alrighty. so i'm gonna go to yeah so yeah mel is like oh. so is these just a bunch of slow Take us to your leader <laughs> I'm like i don't <laughs> um, but uh I, yeah the, the... yeah real re real quick too. uh mel is like so like do we just like say hi i don't know i've never met any of these guys these are mm -hmm. just a bunch of slow folks yeah. Uh, yeah, but they're real chill. We'll just kind of introduce yourself. They'll be uh pretty nice. They're just uh vibing. Uh, um, all right. I figure they probably don't like the storm. That's really not their kind of uh vibe, unfortunately. Uh, so okay. Something from that. All right, I'll lead you to it, Mister uh, Eel Person. Mhm. Mm all right, sounds good. So I'm gonna um walk up and just kind of like clear my throat again and say um I guess. I don't know the name specifically, so I'm gonna go, uh, excuse me, um, I guess, Mr. Uh, Slowking, um, we're just new, we're just visitors who arrived to the aisle, um, we're just kinda hoping to see, uh, um, if there's anything you, um, would recommend us to check out or anything, we're just kind of visiting right now. Oh, hi, welcome, welcome to Ivory Island, 
My name, you can just call me Ryan. It's okay. No Mr. Slow King stuff. So, let's see. There's, uh, there's, there's, the beach is a very nice, very nice place. Careful, don't, uh, don't, uh, upset the basculin. They can be a little, a little territorial. So they can get a little mean if you get too close to them. They can bite. Hopefully I wouldn't cause any problems, but I'm saying it's out of character. Yeah. Um, me, Jack the player saying, hopefully I wouldn't slaughter an entire bloodline of them and cause an issue a generation down. Ah, uh, yes, so he not wouldn't. Not like the lore of a certain Pokemon or anything. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, suddenly I hear the so the faint sounds. Uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. Do we have eh, 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 we do have a white striped Baskill in here? So maybe mm. that's already happened. Who knows? I was like, yeah, but you know, they can be friendly when you get to know them, but like they're a little closed off at first so we try to help them get a bit more sociable you know but i mean hey if that's not your taste that's fine we got the village up in the mountains yo th those guys are very nice they're very chill although i ha last time i was there they were a little like nervous i think like there's something going on in the mountains i think i don't know but like they, they're like, so, I don't know, something's going on. It's been, there. I've been hearing a lot of thunderstorms there. It's it's a little weird, I, I tell and you. And as you say this, I kind of get like a feel where I can like, detect, like I can kind of detect there's like a little bit of a stronger like presence here than like a normal. Yes, actually, um, actually, yeah. Like and lightning like, in the air. Yeah, like, yeah, yes, absolutely. Yeah, honestly, you like, we're starting to feel it as soon as you set foot on the island, but like yeah, it's becoming it for me. more noticeable now. And it's like. Mm -hmm. hmm. And now and that it, I'm thinking mm -hmm. about it, too, I'm like, ah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Um. It's like, uh. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe talk with them, see if they know anything. But like, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about it. But apparently, there's like some funky story about the storms. I don't remember. It was too long. I fell asleep when they were trying to tell it to me. So, you, you, I mean, hey, if you don't get, you don't fall asleep to bedtime stories, then you, you, you should be fine. But as for me, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Ryan, for your help. We greatly appreciate it. Have a nice day. You too.